It started with one man's prayer and his promise that would change the world. I prayed to St. Jude, help me find my place in life and I'll build you a shrine. Entertainer Danny Thomas built St. Jude Children's Research Hospital with the dream that no child should die in the dawn of life. Since its doors opened in 1962, treatments invented at St. Jude have pushed the overall childhood cancer survival rate from 20% to more than 80% today. Danny Thomas's fraternity, Tall Kappa Epsilon, has supported him and the St. Jude mission every step of the way. It's really so unbelievable and such an honor to be a Teak, knowing that Danny Thomas founded St. Jude and was in the same organization that I am. And as St. Jude continues to lead the way the world understands, treats, and defeats childhood cancer and other life-threatening diseases, Ta Kappa Epsilon continues to commit to and surpass impressive fundraising goals for the hospital. In 2011, Teak pledged to raise $1 million in five years. That goal was met a whole year early. Then, in 2016, the fraternity raised the bar with a pledge to support groundbreaking technology at St. Jude, the Proton Therapy Synchrotron Particle Accelerator. We made a commitment, a six-year commitment to $2.6 million, and we're excited that we, we achieve that commitment in a little over three years. Now, history will be made with Ta Kappa Epsilon's newest commitment, the largest of any men's fraternity. We are embarking on a $10 million, 10-year campaign to officially name the Bone Marrow Transplant Research Labs floor. Our fraternity has really been groundbreaking over time and in our, through our history, and we're excited to once again make history with St. Jude. The Bone Marrow Transplantation Program at St. Jude is one of the largest pediatric programs in the world. In fact, more than 3,000 transplants have been performed at St. Jude since 1982. Research from St. Jude showed that bone marrow transplant survival more than doubled in recent years for young, high-risk leukemia patients at St. Jude. And discoveries made in the St. Jude Bone Marrow Transplant and Cellular Therapy Research Labs are giving hope to patients like Carson. I just want to say that St. Jude is a great place and they've given me my life back. I think it's great at no matter what, people will always help us kids at St. Jude. Our first and foremost goal was to save our son, but in turn, it could save so many more just from the research they've done off him. The funding that we're helping to provide uh, to the St. Jude organization is really going directly to help everybody from the children to the researchers to the clinical staff. Teeks strive to build better men for a better world. And they stand behind Danny's dream that no child should die in the dawn of life. We believe that the essential elements of true brotherhood are love, charity, and esteem. Those three principles are not just a fraternal principle. They're life principles. They are charges to be the best person that you can and see the best in others. Frater Danny Thomas brings a real sense of pride to our organization, someone who has done so much good for the world. It sets a, an expectation for the rest of us that we need to, to look to, uh, but also that we need to step up to on a daily basis. As Danny Thomas once said, those who work for the good are as those who do the good. And it's with that charge that Teeks realize their own purpose creating a better world through personal growth and service to others. Brothers of Teak, on behalf of myself and all the many children of St. Jude, I'd like to offer up a heartfelt thank you. Your hard work and your contributions to St. Jude ensure that the hospital and its continuing mission will go on for years to come, and it will ensure that one day we will find the cure.